So this is question two of IAC Computer Science Practical Paper 2020. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. It says write a program to declare a matrix A of order m into n where m is the number of rows and n is the number of columns such that the value of m must be greater than 0 and less than 10 and the value of n must be greater than 2 and less than 6. Allow the user to input digits 0 to 7 only at each location such that the row represents an octal number. If this is your 3 by 3 matrix, so 2, 3, 1 is the first row, 4, 0, 5 is the second row, 1, 5, 6 is the third row. So decimal equivalent, so they are saying represents an octal number but they are saying decimal equivalent. This is going to be, this should be octal equivalent but the equation is correct because they are multiplying by 8. If it was decimal equivalent, they would be multiplying by 10. Anyhow, perform the following tasks on the matrix. A. Display the original matrix. B. Calculate the decimal equivalent of each row and display as per the format given below. Again, says an octal number, tells you about decimal equivalent. Okay, but we are going with the equation. There is a typo, but there is nothing which is very unclear about this question. I totally understand this question. Let's move on. Test your program for the following data and some random data. Example 1. M is 1 and N is 3. So M has to be between 0 and 10. Okay, M is 1 between 0 and 10. N must be 2 and 6. Okay, so 3 which is valid. And enter elements for row 1 because M is 1. So only one row. 1, 4, 4. And decimal equivalent is 100. So 1 into 8 to power 2 is 64. 4 into 8 to power 1 is 32. 64 plus 32 is 96 plus 4 is 100 which is correct. Similarly, there is another case. M3, N4. M is between 0 to 10. N is between 2 and 6. Yes. So M is 3. So 3 rows. Read the values. And then we have uh, the field matrix and the decimal equivalent. So let's look at another case. So which says M3, N3. Enter elements for row. So you see there is a value which is not in the range 0 to 7 which is 8 and so the output is invalid input. So as soon as this invalid input is read, there is no more further input read because m is 3 and it is supposed to read in 3 rows. But right after the first row where it finds an invalid value, the output is invalid input. And in this example, m is in range but n is out of range. So let's begin now. So for any practical question of IAC data solve, my aim is to keep the sample input and sample output as close as possible right to the program that I write and I divide this into sub problems into functions. So my first function it is very visible to me very clearly visible to me is converting a row into a decimal equivalent okay. So I'm going to write a method to convert a row into a decimal equivalent okay. So I'll say static in keeping it static because I will directly call it from the main. Okay, static int get decimal and for int row in fact, okay, this is going to be my row. You turn zero just so that it compiles, right? This is one method that I need, a method to print the matrix, okay? So static void print matrix, okay? So I'll say int a int m int n. So scanner to read from the user. Scanner scanner is equals to new scanner system dot in. Okay. Close the scanner scanner close. Okay, read the value of m and n. The value of m out m is equals to okay so my aim again is to keep the sample input as close as possible okay in my program so i'm going to prompt for something like m is equals to just like this and i expect the user to type in the value of m so i'll say int m is equals to scanner dot next int okay similarly read the value of n so i'll say n is equals to scanner dot next it validate the values of m and n so if the range of m is 0 and 10 so 
if not m is greater than 0 and m is less than 10 okay show invalid input invalid input stop the program so i'll say return so m is greater than 0 and m is less than 10 is valid if this is not valid then i simply return so this yellow line is because scanner was not closed now it disappears all right check for the valid value of m check for the valid value of m here okay and n has to be greater than 2 and less than 6 okay so i'm going to copy this so greater than 2 and less than 6 all right if this is not in the range close the scanner and return all right i've checked for the valid values of m and n we create the matrix so i'll say int a is equals new int m and n read in the row values for int i is equals to 0 i less than m i plus plus read this row okay the flag to check if any value not in range 0 to 7 is input okay so boolean flag is false so for in j is equal to 0, j is less than n, j plus plus, I am going to read in the value into this location, right? So a of i comma j is equal to scanner dot next int, okay? If this value is, if a of i j is less than 0 or a of i j is greater than 7 then set the flag to true so i'll say flag is equals to true if the flag was set so if flag and this has to be done for each row that's why for each row i'm setting the flag to false first and i'm checking all the values for this particular row if any value is not in the range i'm setting the flag to true Right, I'm going to show invalid input and close. Okay, so by this point, by line 92 here, right, I know that m and n are valid, all the entries in the matrix is valid. Right, now I need to process and print. All right, so let's go back to the method where we, okay, get the decimal equivalent. Okay, so the value to be returned. So I'll say, int decimal is 0 you're going to calculate it and return it so i'll say return decimal okay basically this row is one single 1d array right and 2 is the first location 3 is the second location and 1 is the last location so if we consider this sample then our row is going to contain values 2 3 1 right and starting from the very last value, 8 has to be given the power to 0, then the next value to the power 1, then the next value to the power 2. So the exponent is increasing by 1 from right to left. All right. I'll say the current power in power is 0. Right. I'll start with the rightmost element in the row. Let's say for int i is equals to row dot length minus 1 okay going to the first element which is greater than or equal to 0 and we are traversing from the rightmost location of this array to leftmost so i minus minus okay get the term for this so i'll say in term is equals to multiply this current value of row into a to the power of power okay and increment power by 1 so i'll say power plus plus so that when it moves to a mad oh it has to be int 
because the default return of mat.pow is a double we have to cast it into an integer all right increment the power by one okay because i minus minus takes us from the last to the second last and then so on all right and then add term to decimal so i'll say decimal plus equals to term and finally return the decimal show the message filled matrix all right one thing you need to keep in mind when you are printing it is you need to print fill matrix decimal equivalent and for each row you need to print the value right so i'll say and decimal equivalent i'll say sys out filled matrix matrix give enough space okay and you can always adjust this space after you check your output and then i'll say decimal equivalent equivalent all right okay print each row and its decimal equivalent okay so for int i is equal to 0 i is less than m i plus plus okay print this row first and you can use tabs or you can use system.printf. I'm going to use system.printf, right? So I'm going to print this row now for int j is equal to 0, j is less than n, j plus plus, printf, percent. If you want to know about printf, you can check the video for printf in my channel. System.out.printf, percent d, percent minus, I'll keep it left aligned i'll keep it minus 4d okay and i'll print the value a of i comma j right i'll give it a space as well and change a uh, print the decimal equivalent now okay so i'll say system dot out dot print in get decimal for this row get decimal for this row which is i row okay i'll say a of i okay and i'll add some space so i'll say sys out okay we'll adjust this to suit the output right all right we have to ask for enter the elements for row one show message so i'll say sys out enter elements for row which is plus i plus 1 and print because I would want to read the row and then change the line for row this plus okay and then finally print the matrix In matrix a m n all right so for this we have to print out of range and not invalid input out of range okay and for this we have to print invalid input okay all right let's just run this and see how it goes m is 1 and n is 3 one four four okay so you see your decimal equivalent is a little to the left okay you can decrease the space right so i'm going to decrease the space a little okay and i'm going to try again inputting the value of one three and one four four all right so this is our output for the first case let's try another case where we have m is 3, n is 4, 1, 1, 1, 1, 3, 7, okay, 2, 1, 0, 6, 2, 1, 0, 6, and 0, 2, 4, 5, 0, 2, 4, 5, 6, 0, 7, 1, 0, 9, 4, 1, 6, 5, and it works just fine. Let's run another case. So I'm going to say m is equals to 3 n equals to 3, 2, 4, 8, 2, 4, 8, 
invalid input because 8 is out of range for 0, 7. Let's just check the last case. M is 4, N is 6 and out of range. So this was the solution and I hope this was helpful. So thank you for watching.